Hi, this is Jason Widrow, and in this tutorial we're going to continue on our last, but we're actually going to get into the nitty-gritty of creating this whole process of visitors being able to search for the items listed on the site. So, as you can see, I just have a default WordPress install, nothing fancy, and I did install the plugins, types, and views, and we're going to start by going to types, custom types and taxonomies, And once this opens up, we're going to click Add Custom Post Type. And we're going to be doing a classified type postings. If I spell things right, I'll get there. Okay, so once we've entered that basic information, we're going to have a look at this. We want to make sure that this is selected. This will ensure that the menu actually shows up in the left-hand area here. There are a lot of other configuration options, most of which we're not going to touch. There's an important thing to note here that the title and the editor are the default items in a post. In other words, a WordPress post has a title and an editor. By default, one of these has to be selected. For our tutorial, we're going to leave both of them selected because we're just going to use the existing title and description field for the description of the classified itself. I'm going to go down to the bottom here. I'm going to click Save Custom Post Type. And you'll notice in the left-hand column, our new menu has been created. And if you click Add New, you will see that there's a title and an, an entry box, which is, as I previously mentioned, the title and a description box. But, of course, our classified is going to need quite a bit more information, such as a price, an image, and a category selection. So I'm going to jump over into that in the next tutorial. But just to briefly stick on this for a second, you did see that your classified is listed here and it will show up just like any other post or page where you can view all the classified listings or add a new one from this main menu. Okay, look forward to moving on. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.